Hey guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another book haul. As you can tell, I might have developed a kind of a book buying or even an online shopping slight addiction during this quarantine period. I definitely haven't gone crazy, I don't think so, but I haven't bought this many books in a while. So I'm kind of excited. I'm also taking this back to the basics, to old school and doing a semi unboxing as well so I had placed orders in two different bookstores within Australia the second one that I was waiting on all the books fell out of the box so that was a shame but I am going to be doing an unboxing for another one of the orders that I did so I actually went and purchased books off book grocer as well as basement books which are two Australian stores, one located in Sydney and the other one located in Melbourne. Now with these two stores, they actually take in books that uh, I know there's a name for them. I might leave the word here because I don't particularly remember. So they actually sell these books at a discount. I like the idea of supporting these stores. One, because it means we're not putting things to waste, but two, they're actually independently owned and fairly sure and run and they just have a lovely community the people that work for them as well so i've gone into uh, book grocers stores before and i've loved them they don't always have everything that you want in terms of you know all the latest wi-fi and um, wi-fi wow all the latest ya books uh all the more famous novels that you would know but in saying that their collection has definitely changed and expanded a lot over the years i've shopped with them for quite a while now a lot of my books on the shelf as well are actually from them so yeah i'm glad that i was able to, to support locally during this time despite me spending money <laughs> but it's been good i think you will go through this chronologically because i actually placed three orders in total two for brook grocer and one for basement books so the first book that i got from them is rumble star by abby elfenstone this one is a middle grade novel so this is about a boy named casper who is allergic to adventure and then he stumbles upon rumble star which is an unmapped kingdom that no one knows about it is currently in danger so with the help of a person named utterly thankless a girl who hates rules they go and embark on this adventure to save the kingdom, which I think is a really fascinating take on middle grade in terms of a kid who doesn't like adventure, who prefers to just go home and do his thing. So we'll see how that turns out. Clearly I was in a middle grade kick because this one here is The Garden of Lost Secrets by A.M. Howe. So this one is set during 1916. Clara is sent off to live with her aunt and uncle in London, but when she gets there, mysterious things happen, including the fact that a boy appears only at night and she's trying to figure out who he is. It kind of sounds a bit darker for a middle grade read, but there's something about this that I'm really intrigued about. Also, it really helps that the cover's gorgeous. Like, I love anything that's embossed or has foiling on it, which is what this one does. So, it's just a nice addition to the shelf. Then I also picked up Girls with Sharp Sticks by Suzanne Young. I have read a couple of her books before and I really liked them. I think the one that I remember is The Program, which has an amazing cover as well. So this one is set in a academy called the Innovation Academy where the girls are really obedient. They're training for a certain thing. You know, they don't break rules, anything like that. But the main character, Namina, discovers there's something not quite right with Innovation Academy me and soon a rebellion starts to bubble I guess it's actually a series which I didn't realize but it's supposed to bring up a lot of ethical questions which I'm all about I really like reading thought-provoking reads so I really hope that I can get something out of this one we have the second book to carve the mark by Veronica Roth this one is the fates divide I will tell you this I haven't read carve the mark yet I definitely have it on my shelf and because this one was at a cheaper <laughs> find i figured why not it also would mean that it would push me to read the first one hopefully i know everyone knows about this it is a very big ya fantasy novel that a lot of booktubers have read already but i'm fairly sure it's centered around a girl who has an ability to cause harm or pain to people and her brother uses it to his advantage <laughs> and then you have the male counterpart who is trying to be a hero and they meet and they're not sure what happens between them. I like to hope that I would like this 
purely because of the hype around it but yes i did buy it because of the hype around it and then we have book two and three of the nikki chronicles and this one is by terry good kind yes so the so the second book is called shroud of eternity and this one here is siege of stone now i do have the first book already which is called death's mistress and this one here is an adult high fantasy series it actually is sort of a follow-on or a companion series to one of terry goodkind's other series that is really well known i want to say it's called the sword of truth i'm fairly sure so in that series it follows a man named richard rowell and the main character in here whose name is nikki she helps him with all their lives come together and, and she helps richard through that adventure kind of thing and then this one follows just her adventure after everything that happens in that series i'm somewhat of a fantasy reader i definitely do enjoy a good high fantasy series in the adult uh, genre or, or in the adult realm as well so i've read lord of the rings which is right here look don't ask me why i bought book two and three when i haven't even finished the first book yet but i did really like the reading writing style when i started the first book so hopefully i get around to that and this will be my winter project and then moving on to the basement books order that i did i actually only ordered four books and a coloring book <laughs> so the first one up is 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. This is the second book in the Fibre series and I actually completed this one last night. I have been flying through the series so I'm super excited to read the third one. It is a fairly well-known series that came out a while ago which is a YA sci-fi and it talks about parallel universes and the main character whose name is Marguerite she or her parents uh, discover discover a way to travel between dimensions or parallel worlds and in the first book she takes an initiative to travel between different worlds to actually take justice for her father's death it's not a spoiler that happens at the very beginning and then this one just follows on with the same concept uh, but again, Marguerite is at the center of trying to figure out what is happening. Love it. Cannot wait to read the next one. We have Ben Aronovich's Rivers of London. Honestly, I only bought this because I needed to make up the free shipping target. <laughs> but this one here is an adult crime thriller. It's, from what I've read, is has a very, because it is set in London, has a very kind of, Sherlock Holmes slash Harry Potter vibe where they kind of merge together which I think is rather fascinating so this is a really well-known series as well it follows a character named Peter Grant as he goes through and tries to investigate and solve these crimes I'm fairly sure there's like an urban tone to this as well I do love a crime thriller read though so I'm hoping that I really like this because like I said it's very very well known so I'm fairly sure there's a reason for that and then we have book one and two to the Rebel of the Sand series by Alwyn Hamilton <laughs> I picked this up purely I would say because of the cover I definitely know that a lot of people have spoken about this as well it is a YA fantasy series again and I loved that I could get the first two straight away so that I can get right into it. Something about me where if I don't have the entire series on hand I might actually forget to read the remaining series. It's a classic example of Throne of Glass where I haven't even read the last book and now it's too late because it's been too long. So it is about a orphan named Amani al Heiser. I'm really sorry if I butchered that and she really just wants to escape the world but the desert is a very very dangerous place until someone turns up and that's when her adventure starts. I'm intrigued to see how this turns out. I am really in the mood for good adventures at the moment, you know, thrilling, intense. So I'm hoping that I like this as well. Alrighty, let's move on to the unboxing of this guy. So this one is the last order that I placed with the book grocer. I should remember what's in there, but I actually don't because it's been ages. I have some scissors. Honestly, I haven't done this in so long that it's really exciting me. <laughs> How random. Also, I chose the one day to film a uh, unboxing standing up, so this is going to be interesting. I mean, the 
great thing about the book grocer as well is how fast the shipping is like especially with deliveries or a lot of businesses um saying that the deliveries are delayed like this came within days which is impressive they also do collections i also realized that my half of my face is getting cut off um they also do collections in store so you can actually place an order online and then collect it in store as well which is really cool okay cool i'm gonna place this pop this on my desk Alrighty, we got there in the end. Oh wow. Okay, so I honestly do not remember even placing this order or even buying these books. So, <laughs> but the first one that I see is Pages and Co. Book number two. And this one is Tilly and the Lost Fairy Tales. So, if you guys have watched a couple of my other videos, I've spoken about the first book, which is Tilly and the Book Wanderers. So, this one is by Anna James. It's a story about Tilly and her ability to book wonder, which is essentially to travel into books and out of them, or have characters visit you in the real world from their books. She's able to converse with them, and, and that's because she has such a strong relationship with books as well as her favorite books. So I've done a review for the first one in saying that I wasn't sure if I loved it in particular. Definitely wanted to read the second book and at the time I didn't feel super rushed. And then I found this on the book grocer. It is a hardback and I'm pretty sure I bought it for 10 bucks. Okay, my head's not cut off anymore. As I was saying, I would like to hope that this one is a bit more action packed, a bit more adventure filled as opposed to just telling me the story, which is what I felt the first book was like. But I just like the cover and the design of it, so that's why I picked it up. I mean, look at this duo. Amazing. <laughs> I live for this. We have two more middle grade novels. This one is The Peculiar Pegs of Riddling Woods by Samuel J. Halpin. And this one is The Star Spun Web by... Oh my god, I'm going to butcher that name. Nice, need. Her heart, please tell me how to pronounce that. I actually didn't realize that the edges of this book is purple, that's so pretty. I love that. So, in this one here, Poppy and Erasmus feels a bit funny about the town called Suds. There's a couple of disappearances going on, they're trying to figure out what is happening, but then they realize that it's gonna take them into this really dark and mysterious wood area, which kind of sounds scary, but for middle grade, I'm excited to see how this plays out. And then in the star spun web, we have Tess who is an orphan and then a person or a man comes to the orphanage to claim that he's a relative of her. But she leaves with him taking only her pet spider which is a tarantula. And then along the way she realises that there's more of a sinister plan to this all and then this man isn't really who he says he is. Also just to note, this is what I mean when I say that they're kind of defective or damaged and that they all have like, usually they have black texture marks down the uh, bottom of it which doesn't really bother me because you can't really see them like honestly half of the time when they say that it's in a not a new condition they're pretty much brand new like look at them they do still sell new books if they have them but most of the time they're more like these and then I picked up Catch a Falling Star by Meg McKinley this is a YA contemporary about a girl named Frankie Avery. Now at the moment there is like a space shuttle or a space station hurtling towards Earth. People are a bit concerned about that and during this time Frankie starts to remember something that she thought she had forgotten that her mum doesn't want to speak about and that her younger brother Newt has no idea of. However he starts to act a little strange during this time and being the older sister she's always been very protective of Newt so she's trying to look after him and so with the danger of of earth being destroyed i guess or this object flying into earth she also feels like her life is also being threatened in some way or the life that she knows is being threatened in some way there probably is a reason why i picked this up and i don't really remember off the top of my head anymore but i haven't read contemporary in a while so i'm hoping that this one delivers something to me it is a short read so i'm assuming that i can get through this quite easily as well we have american street by Ibi Zoboy. So this is a story about an immigrant family and the main character's name is Fabolia Toussaint. I will leave 
the name here because I know that I haven't pronounced that correctly. And basically they've moved to the US for a good life. Now that's definitely not what they're faced with when they're there because as soon as they arrive in the US her mother is detained and she has to go and live with her cousins. And then it basically depicts her life of trying to adapt to this new country, the different cultures there and whatnot. I know that I don't read as many diverse books as I should because most of the characters that I read from are you know white representation, cis representation so I'm hoping that this is another kind of eye-opening thought-provoking read aha uh -huh. so this is the third book of the series that I was showing to you before that I bought from the basement books which is I'm fairly sure the rebel of the sand series and it's a trilogy so this is the third one called hero fall hero at the fall no wonder why I bought the first two because I found this so cheap <laughs> So I guess I have the entire collection. Well done, Tracy. Well done. <laughs> I didn't even know I did that. And then lastly, we have A Million Worlds With You by Claudia Gray. This is the third book in the Firebird series. Like I said, I had purchased the second book in the basement book order that I did just, and I showed you just before and I finished it. So I'm really, really, really pumped to read this one and then finish the series. Those are all the books that I bought from book grocer and basement books now i did end up caving and buying the ballads of songbirds and snakes by suzanne collins the prequel to the hunger Games series that follows president snow's story i honestly had no clue what it's about i've watched a couple of tubers videos and read reviews about it now so essentially it is set during the 10th anniversary for the Hunger Games I'm fairly sure and at the time President Snow is selected as a mentor for a tribute who is a female tribute from the 12th district. Like I said I caved. This is a very much a hyped book purchase. I would have liked to just purchase the ebook but the price for an ebook and the price for the physical book was pretty much similar so I bought the physical copy anyways I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not I've heard a lot of mixed reviews we'll have to see that's it that is my book haul I hope you guys enjoyed it I would love to know if you have read any of the books that I have purchased leave a comment down below I hope you guys have a lovely day and I shall see you guys next time Bye.